Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Once again, hey, whatever you're doing, you don't want to miss it because we had a dynamic Bowie State Bulldogs. I mean, they are off and running. This past Saturday, they tore up Benedict, 31-14. And wh what's coming up next is homecoming, and that's this Saturday. They're playing Livingston College. And we have some of the outstanding players here that, you know, help make Bowie State number one. And that's what we want from you. Coach. Yes, sir. Damon Wilson, once again, the Bowie Bulldogs are off and running. Yes, tell, so, tell us about that victory. Uh, the victory against Benedict was very, uh, very important to us as an opportunity to play a team outside of our conference. Uh, Benedict is a very good football program. And uh, to open up the, the, the home opener with a win is always good. Mm -hmm. So, we, you know, we're off to a good start this season. We're 2-0, played Assumption College uh, from, the, uh, from the Massachusetts Conference. And uh, we just played Benedict this past week, and yeah. we're excited about homecoming this week. Hey, sounds good. Hey, look, you have an outstanding player here, and he's a local. Hey, mm -hmm. I mean, grown right here at Largo High School, Romanto mm -hmm. Flowers. Mm -hmm. Now, I tell you, I was out there, and a couple of those guys almost ran over me. they making touchdowns, you know, number four. He was running, you know, and then uh, Flowers. In fact, uh, Romanto Flowers he had 140 some yards. Is that right, Coach? Yeah, now, you, you, you should have. It was 147 <laughs> yards. He had 144. He had a great game. 144. For us. Yes, sir. Oh, Romano, welcome to the Ed Brown Show and congratulations. Now, he is a local young man. And you know what I like about him, too? Not only is he tough on the football field, he's majoring in finance. He said he's going to get some of this money out here. <laughs> welcome to the Ed Brown Show, Romano. Thanks for and congratulations. Me. We like to see the local young men, you know, into the uh, football here, the local football. You know, most of them get drafted and go all over the place. But you stayed home. In fact, you were at Largo, and now you're a senior. You're going into finance. You, I mean, this, this is wonderful. Congratulations. I think you did a terrific job, both in school and on the field. Thank you. Now, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a, like you said, I'm, I'm a finance major. Um, I'm a senior in the classroom. I'm a junior on the football field, so you'll be seeing me again next year, God yeah. willing. So they have to look out for you, the opposing team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 147 yards, 44 yards. Yeah. That's fantastic. I mean, coach, hey, what, what do you do to make this guy run like that, huh? I mean, yeah. what do you feed him? You got a special, <laughs> a special diet for him? I've been fortunate enough to see this young man run a long time. Uh, Romano played at Kettering Lago Boys and Girls Club, mm. and uh, I watched him when he was what, eight, nine On years old. On the boys' club. Yes, running, no running the football. So it's, it's a it's a privilege for me to coach him in college and uh, have an opportunity to see him grow and develop uh, starting at a young age. You know, so it's not a whole lot of coaching uh, <laughs> when you're yeah. dealing with Romano. You just line him up and, and let him do what he's, what he's right. been able to do for years. Okay, tell us, Romano, what about your family? Tell us about your you name, your mother and father, and your yeah. sisters and brothers, and how you fit in the family. You're the oldest, right? Yes. Sir. So you had to take care of your brother and sister, right? Yes. Uh, they, I'm, I'm, although they would come in your room and get into your things, you had to <laughs> slap them upside yeah, the head. Yeah, I had, I had to do that a lot. I still do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> still do that? Yeah, still okay, do that sometimes. Okay, tell us, give us his name, you know. Oh, uh, well, my family. brother, my brother, he's 11 years old. His name is Malik. Mm -hmm. um, Malik? Yeah, Malik. Okay. And he's into sports. He plays football, does track, he uh -huh. swim. So it's gymnastic, he's into it all. He's in the, he's yeah. like his big brother, so yeah. you, you, you showing him how to do it. Yeah, he's very active. And then uh, I, I have three sisters. Three sisters? Three oh, sisters. The younger, huh? They all, yes, they all in college. They all in college? Yes, all What's in college. Uh, one goes to Fairmont State, and we play Fairmont State this year, so that's, yeah. so she'll be at that game. Uh, uh, one goes Who's she going to root for, you? <laughs> of, of, course, of course she's going to root for Boy State. <laughs> She's going to root for Bowie State. Uh, yeah. She better if she wants to come home, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, have a, I have another sister that goes to South Carolina State, mm -hmm. and then I have another sister that goes to UDC. UDC? You, UDC. You didn't give me the name. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, my sister's their name is Tanisha, Tierra, Troy, then my brother's name is Malik. And, and uh, the, your sister goes to what college now? UDC, South Carolina State, uh -huh. and Fairmont State. Oh, 
fantastic, boy. That's great. I'm telling you. It's great to see young people get involved academically and into sports. I have some grandchildren in the boys' club, you know, Glen Arden Boys Club and track. I mean, it's, that boys' club does a terrific job here yeah. in Prince George County. One of the better ones. They went out to Can Wichita, Kansas, and came back with uh, four or five national medals, you know. Okay. Uh, so uh, they do a good job here in Prince George County and the boys' club. I have to, uh, you know, give them their due uh, yeah. because they bring young men like you into the college line and the pros, right. you know. So uh, you keep up the good work. And like I was saying earlier, stay with that finance, man, because that, that is the future. What, what part of finance do you think you're going to get involved in? Well, I'd like to be a financial advisor. Uh, to the president, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, to the president. <laughs> um, I mean, you got to set your, right, you, you right. got to set them high, man. I'd, um, I'd also, I'd like to work with athletes, one, because, you know, I love finance, I love money, and mm -hmm. also I love sports, too. So working with athletes, you know, professional baseball players, football players, um, I, I know that I'll be able to click with those guys. Yeah, they need it, too. Right. You, you know, and they need financial advice. Many of them throw the money away, you know what I mean? When they get 40, they're on welfare, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? So that's... Fantastic. Coach, tell us about the team now. Uh, uh, you, you, you got this team 2-0 two and, two and oh now. 2-0. Two, two and, oh. and going to the, uh, uh, let's see, uh, homecoming. Mm -hmm. They're going to play Livingston State, right? That's it. And uh, tell us about some of the uh, stars on the team. Uh, first, offensively, uh, we, we wouldn't uh, be able to have the success without a quarterback play. And Dominique Budd mm -hmm. uh, and Andre Johnson, both of those guys have contributed a great deal for us. Uh, from the quarterback position, running back, of course, Romano Flowers. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple other guys, Kendall Jefferson, who you mentioned. Right. Uh, Targ Jones and Keith Brown. Uh, wide receiver, you're looking at Douglas McNeil uh, and Kevin James and James Proctor. Mm -hmm. uh, James Proctor is another PG County Suitland High School guy. Is that that's, right? That's doing pretty well for us right now. He's a senior. Um, Offensive of line, you mm -hmm. know, the big fellas. You need the big fellas to, yeah. to get some things done. Dewan Smith is pretty much anchoring the offensive of line uh, defensively. We're led by Delano Johnson and Kenny Turner. You know, mm -hmm. that's number 10 and number 7, who's, who are off to a good year this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have some young guys on the defensive side of the ball that are contributing. Uh, Sean Garland and also Marcellus Manier. Uh, those guys are doing a good job for us. And, and, and as long as, like I said, we stay healthy, the mm -hmm. guys continue to, to, to work hard every week, we have a shot, you know. Mm -hmm. And our goal this year is to win the conference championship. Yeah. And I think we have the team to do it. Yeah, I think so too. And and what you want to do, you want to go out and see the Bulldogs. Hey, they some exciting football. I mean, they play offense and defense. <laughs> and some of those hits, uh, boy, <laughs> I tell you, I was on the sideline. I had to get out the way. You know, and, but you're doing a terrific job there. Uh, and what I like about it is that you're getting the. Uh, local youngsters an opportunity it's a lot of local youngsters in the sports that never get looked at in this area you know they have to go other places like you're doing with flowers and jefferson and the whole group and uh, uh mr flowers there he's coming along Beautifully, yes, sir. 104. How many yards you want to get at homecoming against? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot <laughs> against Livingston now. Well, say 100. <laughs> 100. <laughs> <laughs> he takes he takes orders pretty good. He does pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good back. You tell him to go to the night, to the fourth hole. Yeah, he goes to the fourth <laughs> hole. You don't look around and say, I think I like three better. <laughs> Hey, it's less opposition in the whole country. <laughs> he, does follow, he follows instructions pretty well. He follows instructions very well. That's, that's very, very good. And I want to commend uh, Bowie State uh, football for uh, continually giving this area a fantastic team, team that has done well. And young men like uh, Almond here, <laughs> I mean, Romano. Hey, I said Omen. <laughs> Guys like uh, Romano, he really uh, exemplifies the type of organization that the Bowie State Bulldogs have out there. And what we want to do, we want to support 
this team. We want to see everybody out there for homecoming. I know it was a short notice, but we need you. And what is going to happen is, uh, Coach, tell us uh, who you think is the toughest uh, uh, opponent there. Boy State University. Boy State. <laughs> well, okay. well, I, think I mean, we, you can't play yourself, Coach. Come on. <laughs> if, if we if we handle the things that we need to handle in, within our own organization, we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I think, and, and I say, Bowie State, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you, your house is in order first before you mm -hmm. go out and, and take one of other schools. And that's something we've been focusing on all week. Well, who do you think is the toughest team <laughs> that's coming on, man? All of them. Liv huh? Livingston College. Livingston College. They're the next on the, they're the, next on the schedule. Mm -hmm. you know, I, can't, I can't overlook mm -hmm. Livingston, so they're next up. So they're the toughest school right now. Wh whoever's next. Whoever's okay. next. Well, 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 how we have you? your school next week, next week, Virginia yeah. Union. Virginia Union next, next week. week. Uh oh, uh -oh <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> so you go next week. You, you didn't know that, Romana, did you? No, you I, I knew that. Yeah. yeah, I knew. Somebody told you. I, I gave him a hint. <laughs> he said, <laughs> said, look out for Ed Brown. <laughs> so he may ask some questions to pass it down to, you know, the union team say, hey, you got to watch more about it. <laughs> no, but really, it's, it's really has been a pleasure. And, and uh, at that game, that first game, I really enjoyed uh, seeing how well balanced uh, Bowie State is. Yes. They play good defense and good, and the running backs between mm -hmm. uh, Romano wow, and Jefferson. Uh, uh, Jefferson, man, mm -hmm. I say, boy, these, these guys can really roll, man. <laughs> I tell you, how much you weigh? Uh, 186. 186? Yeah. Boy, you're solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, 186. Boy, that's good weight for. That's good weight uh, for. Uh, right. Okay, you're going to tell us your schedule now. We have uh, Livingstone College this week. Mm. Ne then we're going a six game road tri trip. Six game six road in a, trip. Six in a row. Ooh. We have our uh, Virginia Union, our uh, Virginia State. Then we travel to Fairmont State uh, on a Thursday night to play uh, Fairmont State in West Virginia. After Fairmont State, we have, uh, I think it's Lincoln mm -hmm. University. You're really challenging me right now, too. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I can't remember the order. I'm weak. Uh, weak. Well, that's okay. <laughs> no, it is. Names you, got, you, have, uh, yes, yeah. you have Lincoln, mm -hmm. you have uh, Elizabeth City, uh, and you come back with uh, Shepherd. Up mm -hmm. in West Virginia, and I think you finished off with Shawan, mm -hmm. our university at home. Okay. That's be, that'll be our last home yeah, game. Yeah, last home game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, this has been Ed Brown. We're coming back with uh, one of the young men that, you know, we talk about pushing the young, and this young man is running for the county council. And that's what we need. We need these young people involved. See you in a second. Hi, welcome back to the award winning Ed Brown Show. And we have a young man outstanding young man here is running for the county council in district six others were invited but they didn't respond what i want to do is introduce to some and actually explain what's going to happen what is that uh september uh, 17th 20th. september the 20th this young man here has worked and I mean he has a terrific background. Arthur Turner is running for the District 6 council seat. Arthur, welcome to the Ed Brown Show. Thank I, you so much Mr. Brown for having me. I've heard a lot about you, uh, a lot of things that you you know that you have been involved in and I'm very impressed with it and uh, I want people to understand that you're running because you feel that it's needed in District 6. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, I have served as a volunteer, Grand Master volunteer, actually, mm. to raise the bar on the quality of life in Prince George's County. Right. 